What's up you guys, Eddie at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you three of the best camera lens kits to use on your Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. Okay, so I've gone through, I want to say, 20 to 25 different lenses over the last like couple of years on different phones. Um, these absolutely make a huge difference in like the overall quality of any pictures you take. And the nice thing about them is they're universal with any any phones currently. So I mean, in the future, they're probably gonna you know still be good with any phone you might upgrade to. So they're like good investment type of camera accessories. I'm gonna have links in the description for each one of them as I go over them. I'm gonna talk about the fit for each one, the build, and I'm gonna show you some photos that I've taken uh, you know with these. Okay, so the first one I really want to get into here is gonna be the Amir lens. Now, uh, you know, I've had this one for over a year. Um, it's got an aluminum alloy you know design on it and it's also got a glass uh, protective coating here on the front glass to you know go go against like fingerprint smudges and scratches um, it also comes with a protective lens cap that I don't have with me uh, another thing a nice thing about this one is that it's got a rubber backing on it right here so if you're not you know if you're worried about your screen when you're using this it's got a little like rubber piece now this has got a ton of positive reviews on it um, I'm gonna throw it on the back of this s9 in just a second but I do want to, uh, you know, pull up the listing and then I want to show you some photos I took with it. So anyways, this one sells for like around $25.99. Uh, so probably between like 25 and 30 bucks because I've seen it go up and down. And then, of course, it's got about 352 four out of five star reviews. The thing is, you know, pretty amazing. And like I said, it's definitely one of my favorites. Now... We're gonna check out some photos, right? So I took uh, a couple different photos um, of my cat. This is one of my cats that I have. Uh, you know, she's kind of got two faces on her. So um, she's got half of like a black face and a white face. But basically this was a portrait photo I took. Okay, so it's kind of hard to see, I guess, in the portrait. But, um, you know, basically the lens helped me get a little bit more of the picture. So you're gonna get wide angle shots with all of these lenses and they give you up to a 15 time zoom on any photos you take. So they're good for like far away photos. But here's a good example. So I took a uh, landscape photo of her too. Um, and when I use this lens, you could kind of see like that I was able to get more of the picture on the right and left sides. And then I think I got another one right here. This one's a little bit farther away, so you can kind of see that as well. So I actually took, um, you know, three different pictures here. I think the first one I took the portrait with was uh, with this one right here, the Zenvo, which I haven't done yet. And then I took this one with the Amir, and then I took the Aki, uh, like a kind of like a farther away shot. Um, so yeah, so anyways, this one, uh, the Amir, it, it's great. It fits great too, and let's just check out the fit on this thing just to show you that it does get to the uh, the camera perfectly, so you can kind of see right there. Um, I also like to do a little bit of a shake test. You know, this phone is definitely a little bit slippery, but I want to show you that the rubber backing on the Amir will definitely give it a good grip, so you don't have to worry about it like, you know, flying or falling off. Okay, so the Amir is going to be my first one. This is a great choice right here. Uh, you know, it's actually my first top pick, so definitely recommend it. Now the next one we're going to be checking out is going to be the Zenvo. The Zenvo is awesome. So it actually comes with a flashlight attachment that I don't have right now. It's got a rubber backing on it. It'll give you up to 12.5 times zoom on any photos you take. And then of course, uh, you know, it's got that nice aluminum alloy build. It's also got a protective coating on the front glass, which is definitely important. And it comes with a protective cap. Now this one is going to be a little bit lighter uh, than these two I've got right here, which is, you know, kind of a, a bonus, but you're going to get a little bit less of a zoom on it. But it also gives you that wide angle ability. And this one fits perfect on, on this phone. I'll do a little bit of a shake test, like I said. So this one's got a really nice nice fit to it and then it's got that rubber uh, you know gripper on it right here which is good so it's not gonna like damage your screen at all so uh, let me pull up my photos one more time and I want to pull up the listing for this one but like I said uh, I think the first the first photo I took in here was with the um, with the Zenvo so it was this one right here I did the uh, you know portrait photo man that was a really good picture of my cat I gotta say uh, you know she she was looking really pretty in that photo alright so anyways let's uh, hop back over here let's check out the listing for the Zenvo now the Zenvo has got a ton of uh, reviews on it so it's got almost 1000 you know five out of five star reviews so the thing is badass um, and it's got a really cool stock photo to it too um, it's it's also about 30 bucks um, I feel like it's priced right. All of these are in like the $30 range, so that's pretty much what you're going to be spending. Okay, so let's get into the last one right here, the Aki. 
Now the only downside to the Aki is that it doesn't have a rubber backing on you know the back attachment right here but with even without that this is still a very you know nice lens it's very powerful this is one of the my first ones I ever got so it's got a little bit more of a unique design on it you can see it's a little bit nicer for gripping it's aluminum alloy and it's got a 15 times zoom on it uh, and it'll give you the wide angle shots of course uh, so the last photo I, I took on here was of my it was the third photo I used for the uh, Aki so I got like a little bit of a farther away shot here but you can kind of see it's picking up you know more of the outer uh, the left and right with the wide angle and uh, you know I think it definitely picked up a little bit more detail as well in the photo all right so anyways let me uh, hop back over here I'll throw it on in just a second I just want to pull up the listing for it and uh, currently it's got about you know 311 four to five star reviews it sells for 30 bucks but like I said it's another great lens and it's got a good fit on it you're not gonna have any issues placing this on the uh, you know back of your phone you can actually maneuver it pretty well and we'll do a little bit of a shake test here all right very nice very nice all right very cool stuff all right so like I said I've gone through um, you know 20 to 25 different phone lenses you know over the last couple of years and I found these to be like the best of the best you know what I'm saying and you know I've uh, tried them out on the back of this S9 and they all fit perfectly they all kind of sell in the same range of around like 30 bucks uh, they've got great builds and they're also great camera investments because you know, camera accessory investments because like they're gonna be universal with other phones and they'll probably be good for you know many years to come which is another big bonus to them anyways I'll have links in the description for each one of them uh, if you have any questions about any of them hit me up in the comments if you go, could also hit the like and share on this I'd appreciate it. Anybody out there that's not subscribed to us yet, hit that subscribe and we'll see you guys later.